You are listening to or watching the Wooden Spoon Podcast. Now let's start the show. Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you to Austin Giorgio. I always say him in the end. I never give him props in the beginning. Yeah, you do. That's Austin Giorgio. Yeah, you do. Sometimes I forget. Look up Austin Giorgio with our opening song. What's up? We are back. Like he needs your help. Back. The guy was on the freaking voice. Back, 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 back. But, 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 yeah, he was on the voice. Uh, yeah. And we have what's a lot up? of stuff to talk about. We've been gone. To the left of me. Brother Mike. What's up? What's up? Uh, what's it's going on? A, it's been a while. It's been a while since we were outside. Outside. Yeah. We could still do it outside today, but no, leaves are falling. No. And Last time we had neighbors weed whacking. <laughs> we had freaking squirrels fighting. Right, right, no. right. Not good, not good. This episode is brought to you by Pets Blue Ribbon Beer. As our father would say. Yeah, tell the story about that. Oh. So it's New Year's. I'll set you up. Yeah. New, New Year's, Year's. We're all Year's. out. We're at a restaurant. We're all out. We got the whole so family. So there's 13 of us, maybe? Probably. Most likely. But, 13 and 15. But you, me, and Pete were at one end of the table. Our other brother. Our other brother. And mom, dad, and all the, uh, you know, Marianne's parents were at the other end of the table. So we really didn't know. So you had the. Uh, Older generation, and, and then the, and the younger us, one. and then you have our younger kids' generation. So the waitress or waiter it was a girl. Waitress, waitress does the drinks. Goes yeah. around and does drinks, right? So um, my dad uh, at the far end of the at table. the far end of the table uh, says, "I want a pet." No, he didn't even didn't even say that. Yeah, he said, I want a Pepsi. Yeah, but this is the story. So everybody got their drinks. Now I got to end it. Everybody got their drinks, and dad and we said. Hey, Dad! You're drinking a beer. You're drinking a beer! Because usually he doesn't, especially if he's driving. Uh, Never at a restaurant. Right. Yeah, not really. Look, look at Dad. It's New Year's. He's drinking a beer. And he goes, I didn't order this. I don't want this. And and we're like, what? So at the same time he says that, the waitress comes up to us because she's handing Giving us our beers. Our beers. Right. Right. And we're like, hey, uh, my dad said he didn't order the, he got, you know, you might have messed up. He got it. He goes, no, no, he ordered a beer. And we go, how did he order it? Because he doesn't speak English. And he goes, oh, he told me he wanted Peps. A Peps. Peps. So I gave him a Peps. We start laughing. Because we know what he wanted. Because we know what a Peps is. Yeah. A Peps. Is Pepsi. Pepsi. Yeah. He wanted a Pepsi Cola. Classic. So she gave him a Peps full ribbon. Instant classic. Yeah, it was great. So every time we, every time he has a soda in his hand, he has a Peps. Oh, so funny. So Peps full so ribbon they beers are sponsored. Uh, Peps. And they now they are our sponsor. They are not. <laughs> no, they are not. Uh, they are not. We have nothing uh, to do with them. No sponsors. No sponsors. We would love to. Love to have Peps full ribbon. Sponsors. The only sponsor we have is Mellow, our cat. Cat. Yeah, he's sponsored. So this show is sponsored by Mellow no the cat. cat. Uh, so uh, we're going to try to do <laughs> something different. Uh, yeah. Because we always talk about... You yeah, tell well, me these things before the show. Oh. Okay. Well, I did in my mind. You, right. didn't, you didn't pick that yeah, up? I didn't pick it up. All right. Yeah. Uh, so I want to do uh, I want to do topics. So we're not... Each show is going to have a topic. Okay. We can kind of go around the topic. We can come back to the topic. We can find our way out of the topic. But... We can jump in it and jump, jump in and jump it. back out. Right. So um, being that uh, in a couple of days fall is upon us... Isn't this weekend like the last weekend? I or believe so. I Holy believe so. Tits. Fall is upon us, <laughs> and uh, we are going to be talking about today's topic is retailers. Retailers. So that should be Seriously? fun. Seriously, a bunch of retailers, and I know with COVID, yeah. Seriously, retailers, yeah. Oh, uh, retailers. Uh, uh, COVID's in uh, in town. So in town. COVID's, COVID's still in town. town. Still visiting. It's COVID's like, still it's visiting. Like family member. Yeah, it's still visiting. It's the family member that won't leave. Uh, <laughs> so COVID but, is still but, no seriously. I I had no idea that Carl decided to pick a topic. Yes, today we're gonna do topics. I, and think I had topics no idea Carl decided to do retail because I have a really good fucking story. Do you? So really good. before we get into that, uh, if you like what you're watching, uh, like and subscribe to YouTube, the Wooden Spoon Pod. That's what you're watching, and if you hit the bell. You get a little ding, 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 ding every time we have a new video, which is every five months. Uh, no, it's kidding. <laughs> uh, we're trying to do better. Probably not, but um, so we got things going on. We got things going on, we got and uh, we got retail. Yeah. And uh, we uh, also, if you want to email us, uh, we started getting emails, and then we stopped because we stopped doing shows. Uh, that is because our, na- our family's in town, right? Right. Our, our bad, bad, our man. horrible uncle. Don't they walk around naked? It's like Jesus. Yeah. He's just doing. a mask. He just walks around with a mask. Maybe. He probably all hanging out. The balls hanging out. 
and then he has the mask on. Oh, I'm my like, God. see a COVID. What are you doing? Yeah, put the mask Man. down there, not up it's here. A, yeah. So, uh, Zio is uncle. For all you Medigans are watching, yeah. which are probably all of us. Yeah, probably um, three. And if you want to email us, it's the wooden spoon pod at gmail.com. So today's topic, retail. And what does that mean? It can be anything. It can be uh, what I find myself doing now, uh, how much I hate it, how much... Uh, retail is not fun anymore with, yeah. with COVID. So, yeah. So what was your story? So... Uh, so there's a local store. I don't, I'm not going to mention any names. No, but you don't, I, no. Uh, yeah, I was there. I was, a retailer. Uh, a retailer. And it's a retail store that has, you know, all the huge windows in the front. Like you can, like from walking to the parking lot, you could see, like literally see into the, the big, yeah, big windows. Big, big windows. You yeah. can see the cashiers. You can see. Old school. Old school. Yeah. Yeah, it is because it's in an old school plaza. Yeah. So I get out my car, I'm walking towards, I'm going in, and from the parking lot, I see fucking Christmas trees. Ooh. Already. Yeah. I turned around. I know where you are. I turned around. <laughs> and went, I never went in. You left? I left. <laughs> I could not go in there. I'm like, it's September. Yeah. You're putting Christmas trees up? Already. What September. Happened, I mean, what happened to Halloween? Even though it's a month away, that should be next. Yeah. You're right. right. I mean, absolutely. If you're in, I mean, you're in retail even, for a reason. Even if you put up a Christmas tree and decorate it with Halloween shit, it's still not right. right. It's still a Christmas tree. They try to sell it as a Halloween tree. Yeah, great. <laughs> Easter great. tree. You ever see that? Right. When it goes into Easter, yeah. they put the Easter eggs and stuff. Yeah, great. Yeah. So it's, you so, know what? Easter, I will let it get away if it's a white tree. I hate white trees. Are you racist, though? <laughs> I didn't even think about that. I gotta watch what, what are you I talking said. about? Oh a white tree. God. Oh my god. I like the big browns. You, you think the green trees are mad at me now? Green, oh man. Yeah. Yeah. You might fight. You want to fight? I don't know. Oh. But you like so you like it when it's that fake white with the Easter pink. That stuff I don't mind. That. that I don't mind because a real Christmas tree is not supposed to be white. Yeah. It's supposed to have white, you know, maybe you, white. You know it's fake when it's yeah, white. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe white stencil or white snow or that spray shit they put on there. I think right? I got that as a Christmas tree. I got that fake Yeah, yeah I got yeah. that shit on there. So you walked you didn't walk in. You walked I, I towards turned, it. I literally saw looked, a tree. I'm, I'm like I'm going somewhere else to get what I need. I'm not I'm not walking in there. Wow. Like Home Depot. Oh I just meant well, whatever. Home Depot that's na- nationwide, right? They're all nationwide. Right, yeah. Even what even Home Depot that you don't want walk to say. in you see you, <laughs> sh- you said it. <laughs> Great. I don't care. Big, um, you walk into Home Depot and you see the snow they blowers. They have... See the snow blowers out. You're like, uh, here we go. Yeah. Shovels and snow blowers are already out. It's not good, is it? It's no, not especially good. after the summer we had in New York State. I know. By the way, degrees. New York State this past well, the whole summer, coast, yeah. What we literally did not have to look at the weather. We knew no. it was You wake be, up the next morning. We knew, you didn't you want to go to the park? Go. You, go. you want to go picnic? It was, go. It was literally a textbook summer. Oh, yeah. It really was. We won't have that for the next five years. Probably not. Yeah. Or probably, more. Or more. Because how many times? When's the last time you... Textbook? Next childhood. When's the, la- childhood. Right. When's the more, last more, more, time? Kid. Every morning we woke up for be- no rain. Be- beautiful. Sunny. Beautiful. If you have a pool, be in it. You know, it literally got to a point where you did not need to watch the weather. You knew it was for you just knew. I'm like, oh, it's gonna be nice later on. But yeah, I mean, talk about talk about people that made out crazy this year because of COVID. All the wood you can't buy wood anywhere. Nope. Because people are putting decks up and extensions. Our cousins killing it painting. Our oh, yeah. cousins killing if a, it. If you're an outdoor painter, if you're killing it. Construction. If you're he had anything. to turn jobs down. Because and he then had... the pool companies killed it. Oh my killed god. Killed it. Yeah. Killed it. Killed it. You know, so some retailers were down. Obviously, malls were closed and all that. I went to the mall. Speaking about retailer. Retailer? Retailers. It's not yeah. the same. No. No. Uh, and, I, and I went because we had a, uh, we had a nephew out of town, so we wanted to show him our mall. Destiny USA. And uh, just to show him. Because it's, it's unique. I mean, we live here, so we're thinking, oh, it's just a mall. It's not but when you're not from here, it's and huge. you don't have a mall like that huge in your town... Um, it, it's nice to see something that, um, that cool. Uh, it was so weird. It felt, first so of all, everybody's walking around with masks, like it, a bunch of, you know, whatever. Did it feel um, like, like, um, like a bandit, like zombie? Like, well, how did it feel? Like, no, those like, people there, Yeah. it just felt very, um, you know, when you're at the mall, people are having coffee, they're walking, Sitting down, you know, yeah. sometimes there's chaos and you don't want to see that. Right. But like the food families court. and you know, all that, there was none of that. It was all like, you it, can't talk to each other. So pretty much... Everyone's on a mission. Go in, exactly. buy, and leave. There's exactly. no more. There's no more. 
you know, just uh, window shopping, okay. as they say, or, 50 cent. you know, just window shopping. Window shopper. Uh, there's no more of the, uh, what I like to do with my wife or whatever, if we, I like to go to coffee place, said coffee right. place, I don't right. know, you know, whatever, which one that doesn't have the line. Right. Usually that would not be Starbucks. Um, <laughs> and I would have my coffee. A real fancy coffee, maybe. And walk around. And then walk around. Yeah. And then you get ideas of buying, oh, I right, can right, buy that, right. or oh, that's on sale. Right. And you, there's none of that. Because first of all, the whole mask and drink, and uh, nobody's doing that shit. It's, it, it's, it's, uh, it's get, they're, they're kind of like telling you, there's no more, go in, get what you need, and leave. Yeah, I mean, and, they, they kind of got the social end of it gone. Yeah. Which they have to, because that's the whole social distancing. So the whole, yeah, that's exactly. So take out the social uh, aspect of shopping, take that away. What are you left with? Go in, buy your underwear, and get out. out. That's pretty much and it. And what is um what what happens? Do you know how much money they lose? What's that uh spontaneous purchasing? Oh, add-ons and like, like uh, when you're like um, just walking around. Oh, it's called um, what's that oh, called? Just, um, we'll think about it. Yeah, but it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's like the when you're when you're yeah. in, when you're in the when aisle. When you're that's why they have all those. When things. you're at the register with the aisle, and they got all these little things. Yeah, it's uh, impulse like, buying. Impulse, impulse buying. Impulse. That's out of the window now. There's or, no more impulse buying. Or more, because people are waiting in line longer. They probably love it, because everybody's six feet apart, and it takes forever now. And there's only one register, because nobody's working. Yeah. So now you're looking around. I've, You know who's a brilliant... I love the retail thing. You know who's brilliant at that? Who? Brilliant. Dollar stores. Oh, yeah. How many times have you sat in a dollar store? Because there's always one one employee. Right. right. There's always one employee with 13 people in line. <laughs> And you're just, oh, 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 candy bar. Okay. Oh, yeah, I need uh, nose cleaners. <laughs> oh, oh, uh, uh, tampons. I don't know. I don't even need them. They're right there. Nose cleaners. Nose cleaners. I don't know what I was thinking. They're called tissues. Tissues. Nose, nose cleaners. <laughs> uh, I meant ear cleaners, like uh, uh, whatever they're called. Those are also called Q-tips. Q-tips. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I just say it in, uh, uh, in no, generic. No, dollar stores. Do- are, that, no, that's, that's, that's what they're called, the they're, dollar stores. What? Nose cleaners. <laughs> and it's... Ba- the impulse by a dollar stores is... They car, have it down. No, the car fresheners. Car fresheners. The best. Aspirin. A, batteries. A, a, batteries, yes. Uh, a, a Coke. A Coke. Because it's right there Coke. in the machine. Yeah. They're the best at candy, it. Candy. And, candy. And, the, and candy. Yeah. And, the, and, the, and the thing is, sunglasses. <laughs> I Readers. buy sunglasses <laughs> you know, all cheaters. the time. Yeah. Not, no, They're I'm right not talking about cheaters, but regular just... Oh, yeah. I, please. So, um, so Dollar Store has it down because they know if you keep the long lines... Sometimes the lines are literally in the aisle of, like, potato chips. And so you're like, oh, what the fuck? I'll get that, too. Yeah. Oh, shit, they got that. By the time I went in there for a card, 50 cents a card, two for a dollar. Best place to best. get a birthday card, Absolutely. best place to get anniversary. I don't, nobody reads the cards, huh? No. Is it empty inside? Next. No one, really, though, no one reads the card. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. $50. Okay. Bada beam. Okay. I mean, even, so, like... Your on Valentine's Day, you, do they is, uh, do they read? Does the girl read the I card? I don't know. They don't uh, read no freaking card know, because it's not like I wrote it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Unless you're adding your own story to the card, right? Yeah, unless they open like a lot of okay. For instance, in in like <laughs> in our case, do you want somebody at Hallmark or whatever dollar store Hallmark? I don't know what they're called. Oh, oh. China. Uh, do you want somebody in China saying how much you mean, mean to, to me? me. Yeah. You know, how much my wife is great or my mom? They don't know. They're just a generic. You are like, no, you're not. Sometimes you're an ass. Sometimes. You know, so I like to just write just my own stuff. I just have to deal with you now. Right. I just like to write my own stuff. I would love a card like that. Yeah. I love you and, you and know, now I have to deal with you. Right. For the rest of my life. Sometimes we bicker. Sometimes, sometimes we, we don't. We, you know, don't. Sometimes, sometimes we sometimes fight. I, yeah, sometimes, sometimes we don't. We make love. Make love. Sometimes. Sometimes you're, you're outside like, cutting the grass and like, yeah. I'm, I'm not. Or it should be like, thank you for cutting the grass and picking up the shit around the house. Right. Should shit should, that I don't want to do. Should, I'm gonna, I just started. Just started, I just started we're going to start our own. It's called reality, uh, uh, reality cards. Ca- reality cards. Reality cards. Like, hey, I might not say it a lot, but. You when, need to lose a little bit of weight. Yeah. You're, <laughs> when you're on me. When you're on me and your tits are bigger than mine, it's time to go on a treadmill. I didn't buy it so I could fucking put clothes on it for the laundry. You might change society. Society yeah, might change. It like, would like literally change. But it's for both. It's like knock knock. Who's there? Your tits lose you're, weight. Yeah, right. <laughs> or your ass is in my face. Knock, Get out knock, of the who's way. Who's there? Your ass. Your ass. Lose some weight. Lose some weight. Right. You know. You know how much. Love. 
Happy birthday. Well, love uh, your uh, wife. Go forever. lose your ass. No, he ended with a happy birthday. Right, right. Go Realism. Shave, go shave your legs. Please. So real tailors. If you're real tailors. Real tailors. That's what they're called. Real tailors. Real tailors. People that just... Greeting cards. They sell you real, real tailor, shit. Real tailor cleaning real cards. Real tailor. Cleaning. Um, I said cleaning cards. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Did you clean the fucking house today? Right. That's why I love you. Why is yes. the house clean? Happy birthday. Happy, yeah. Make the happy birthday like... I'm not just going to pretend nothing's wrong because it's your birthday. Right. We still have problems. Absolutely. We still have a house to clean. We still, you got to pick up the kids. Right. You know, fix the car that's been sitting in the driveway. We look like, you know, look like a bunch of, uh, you know, crazy people. Yeah, stop putting stuff on top of the car. Right. And around it. Mow the lawn. So, P.S., I hope you feel better. So your partner. Get well soon. Can, <laughs> can say this stuff to you and you could say it back to them. Right. Right. That's the way it is. You know, you know, just because it's your birthday doesn't mean the cat's shit doesn't have to get picked up. Right. Right. And you know what? I've been working I all did, day. I did mine. Right. I mean, these le- these notes might be, they're big like cards. Because some huge, people have problems. Huge. You might, I mean, <laughs> like, you might have to start like giving yeah. DVDs to people right, and yeah. put it in so, there so they can watch it. So I think uh, reality cards would be uh, a nice thing. But, um, but yeah, so uh, dollar stores, they have it down. The, uh, the uh, impulse, impulse shopping. Impulse shopping. Impulse, impulse buying. buying. Unbelievable. Oh, you know who also does it? Now we're just going to say names. Uh, <laughs> Burlington Co. Factory. They, what the fuck are they in? They're what not even Burlington Co. Factory anymore. They're just Burlington. What are you, what are you impulse buying now? Oh, you... Clone? No. Everything. Everything? Have you gone to the registers? It's a maze. You have to go oh, through... that's right. And they got yeah. walls of And they have walls shit. of... Yeah. All shit. They are the kings. That yeah. and TJ Maxx You're and all right. that. There is from underwear... To like to little, crackers. To little hand sanitizer Hand bottles, sanitizers, chocolate, soup. bonbons. There's there's uh, headphones. They're th- cheap. Everything. I will never buy a dollar, dollar store that. headphones oh, yeah, ever. No, no, never. No, no, no. no, no. And, they're, they're, and like, good ones are not that expensive. No. So retailers, they got it down. They, they understand like more people are waiting in line. And while they're waiting, because we just don't want to sit there, we'll look around and we'll end up spending another extra... Fifteen dollars on our order. They, it's called add-ons, it's, people. It's probably an extra ten to fifteen. They're, oh, absolutely. they're trying to get out of your pocket. Oh, yeah. I've been re- I've been sales all my life. Right. So in retail, you know what I'm. You know what I'm really hating right now. It's got shit's got to stop. Not only, not only everybody knows, and every comedian and everybody has a joke about the self checkout. Lines. I love it. You know? I love it. Carl. I love that. I love it. Now, you know, oh, I, I got to work here. But I don't want... you know why we love it? I, don't, I love it because we worked in retail. We were, we, at one, yeah. we were at one point a cashier. Yeah, we know how to so do it. So we know how to do right. it. I love yeah, it. I'll tell you why. I, I love, love it. More than anything. Because I want to be served. And I get, like, sometimes I get, like, I, I don't need your help. Like, when do they come up? You need help? Get, no, I got this. Bitch. I got you, girl. But, um, mm. um, <laughs> I like to be served. So, for instance, when I go to a restaurant, if they said, hey, uh, go in the kitchen and make that hamburger, I'll be like, uh, no. Isn't, I there, just... isn't there restaurants that you can do that? Like, Not the ones I want to. Not the ones I want to ever go into. So, if I said, okay, me and my family are going to have the uh, the hamburger special, they go, great. Whenever you're ready, go right in the uh, kitchen. Uh, meats on this uh, uh, in one section. And I'd be like, that's kind of weird. weird. I don't like that. I want to be served. I want, you know, so when I go to a grocery store... I don't want to not only shop, but then I go up to the front. And the new thing is now, if you're not using our bags, you have to bag your own shit. What? Right. I don't want to work. Right. I don't want to work. Now, if I take my stupid ass to the self thing, I'm literally telling myself, you're going to do it. Well, it's I'm a not, thing. Well, hold on. I'm not going to take a cart with 137 items and go to the self aisle and do it myself. No, 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 no. I'm not doing it. Obviously. If I got three it's or four. It's going to be a quick thing. Yeah, if no. I got three or four. And I go there. That, and I, that's what I meant by love. I love it. And I understand. But if I go. When I have a family, I have grocery yeah. shopping. There's right. hundred and something dollars. Two hundred dollars worth of stuff. Yeah. Right. And then I have to bag it? Yeah. Because I didn't buy your bags? What? You know what I love to do? I love going into other people's stores with other people's bags. That is the best. You know why? The because best. I want you to know the best. that I'm not just your little whore. whore. Right. I go everywhere. And you want us to have bags? Yeah. I, the other day. I am a whore everywhere. I walked in with dollar store bags. Absolutely. Because they've been giving it to you free for a while. Absolutely. Now they charge you. Absolutely. Uh, and I go to different top name Grocery stores with other people's names. I don't care. I'll promote it. Unless you're giving us free bags to walk around with your store's name. I'll walk around with a Tops 
in a Wegmans. I don't give a shit. Right. PNC, absolute price chopper. I'll go right into Aldi's with it. Right. You know what? You know what I've been thinking while I'm sitting in line and you have to wait for. Oh, that I want to kill people? That they they're cleaning the fucking. Conveyor oh box. my god! So can 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 you know what? Is there? I, I, I wish I was smart enough. Hold on, sir. I can't. Talk. I wish I was smart enough. But uh, whoever invented car washes, they need to invent self-cleaning fucking conveyor belts. Just, I'm sure there's a fucking I think engineer a on this planet. Be a mister, like a little mister. Just something that yeah. cleans it. Mister. I wish I was an engineer. So, um, if anyone ever makes that, uh, my name's Mike Russo. I thought about it, and uh, yeah, you need to start making self-cleaning fucking conveyor belts. So, <laughs> did you notice they shorten them too? They shorten what? The belt, the the conveyor belts. They're short now. So they don't have to clean as much. Where? What sort of you Wegmans. Doing? They really? shorten them up. Huh. Yeah. Like a short bus. They're not as long anymore. So I, I, I get really the... annoyed. I get really annoyed when... I took the short bus. I, I, I get really... Yeah. Yeah. I get really annoyed that, <laughs> <laughs> that uh, you have to bag your stuff. And they look at you. The worst thing is a fucking 17-year-old kid just like... Like... So you're could, not, could... not going to tell me? Could... That you don't bag because you don't want to touch my stuff. I mean, you, I understand if you say, hey, sir, with the whole COVID thing, if you know, if I if we use our bags, I can put it in there. But with yours, I can be. You know what? I understand. I understand. I don't like it, but I understand. But they don't say shit. They just look at you, and you're looking at them. And I love looking at them, going, "Because who's kids, gonna break first? Yeah. Who's gonna break first? Because young kids." Uh, are, they don't say it. They don't. They don't know how to talk to they people. They don't want to communicate. No, with they people. don't want to talk to people. They would rather talk to the cashier next to them. Oh, absolutely. I hate that, dude. I mean, I've done that. But I, I hate. I hate oh, that. It's the worst. I, you oh, went out last night. Oh, oh, you see the game? Like, dude, I'm standing right here. Yeah. But bagging your own. You're lucky shit you now. don't have Christmas trees right now because I'd walk yeah, you, out. You wouldn't even. Make I would. It. I'd walk out. Right. You wouldn't even make it there. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, that's the newest thing that I can't have. I, I just like I have to bag. I have to. Go around the with my cart, find all the shit with a mask on. Yep. And then I have to stay in line six feet apart, so it takes longer because everybody's just uh, slow. And then once I get up there, I have to take all my shit, give it to them, even though they're scanning it, they're touching it right now. You're touching my shit. So why can't you put it in the bag? Well, I don't know where your bags. I don't give a shit. Yeah. So and then I have to bag my own stuff. I haven't told you this yet hmm. because uh, it what happened divorce. last week. Uh-huh. Uh, Mom was in the hospital. I right? know that. You didn't right. have to. No. I was so in. when you go in with your own mask, not the emergency room. So you never went back. Right. I didn't go to the You didn't room. go to the, right. the front. Because yeah. there's only one person per day right. or something. So huge line. Of course. Huge line to get in. Of Why wouldn't it? Every single person in the line was wearing a mask. When you go up, they give you one. They give, there's a girl that has one hand wide open, no glove. The other hand, glove, handing masks out. Right? So they're not contaminated from... I don't know. She's touching her hair with this. Oh, wait. Oh, she's touch, She's giving you one without the glove. No, with the glove. But the glove, what's the glove do? Right. If if does you're this still, and... even if you're touching yourself, right. you might touch that person's hand that you... So I get up there. I said, uh... Where's your glove been? I go, I my my I don't want a mask. She's like, Well you have to I go, I've been watching you the whole time in line. You've been wearing that same glove the whole time. I don't know what you've touched today. I don't know how many customers I, or people that you've been handing this out to. What'd they say? Uh she I go, you know what I do know though? This is my exact you know what I do know though? My mask is clean. I know my mask is clean. I, ju- I know it's disinfected. I disinfect. It's, I know it's clean. I She literally just sit there and like, okay, go ahead, sir. <laughs> she doesn't want to deal with you. Well, no, but if, if technically, when you're dealing with strangers... Deal with, she didn't have to do- No, but technically, when you're dealing with strangers in public places and you're handing them stuff, you're supposed to change your glove on every yeah, freaking... That's not going to happen. I know, but that's what they're... That, that's the whole. That's how. Right. That's the process. I mean, that's that's, that's the, the only way it stops. The, you put right. you put the glove on. Okay, uh, your glove is your hand. Like okay, you just you're touching your contain. Right. You're like you got to change your glove out. You got to. Right. And then your other hand does. She didn't have a glove on the other hand because she's just handing them out like this. I, I go. Did you disinfect your monitor? Did you disinfect your? your yeah, a lot you, of the, questions. Le- yeah, I just take it. 
I'm that person. Thank you. Then I just put it in my pocket. So the next day, mind. the next day, I wouldn't even worry about it. The next day when I went, I knew I didn't disinfect my mask, so I took them. So it, it's nice. all it's it's uh, yeah. I just take it. I put it in my pocket. If I want to be an asshole and keep mine on, that's fine. If I want to put, the, you know, to me, eh, I've been in so many other ways I should have got COVID. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that, Dude. that I, I'm really, good. I'm good. Uh, so retailers, yes, uh, Christmas trees is your way out. Uh, I love how they skip. Um, out. Bye-bye. I love how they skip, just they skip shit. Like Halloween is not, like, I know some people are already moving candy to the back. Like, guys, we haven't, now who knows what Halloween's going to look like. Would you go to Halloween trick-or-treating for your kids? No. COVID? No. No? I wouldn't. No. I wouldn't. No? You don't know what these so if if COVID is really COVID, the true like if that's how it spreads by touching, that we shouldn't be anywhere. We near shouldn't anybody. even be near anybody. Yeah, we should, but it, you know, and but they're, you know, they're um. It's just it's it's what favors that that. Uh, it's whatever narrative. Whatever is, narrative. Right. Yeah, it's and 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 to us, you can't you can fool us so much. That I don't think it's fooling. I think we're just getting annoyed. Control. You can control we're, we're us. Getting, we're getting fed up. We're getting tired. Fed up. Even if even if you told me the truth forever and ever and ever, and I know it's 100% true, I'm still going to be like, fuck the truth. I still, right? I'm gonna, let me go outside. Even if I know it's the truth, because we're humans. We need to do stuff, and we don't want to be told where to go. Because if that was the case, I would have lived in fucking uh, Cuba with a, a dictator. You know, or Venezuela. Where they have a dictator, and then nobody can leave. If I wanted that, ship me out there. Yeah. But eventually, people are gonna be like, even if it's the truth, I I want to fucking live. So that's where we're at. But retailers should be ashamed of yourselves. Should be Christmas trees. It's not now? even Chris. It's no. not even fall yet. No, a Christmas tree inside a snowblower. Yeah. I can deal with that. Like we're we're, we're, we're cutting, cutting it, it, cutting, destroying it. it. Yeah. 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 So um, so that so retailers uh, also uh, restaurants. I'm confused in some places. I walked into um, Starbucks, but we're not saying names. And you could sit there and have a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you walk into certain places like uh, Chipotle's or whatever. And you can't eat inside. I don't know what the difference is. Um, I think it's... Um, What's the difference? The, 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 so the CDC gives you guidelines. Your local government gives you guidelines. You can follow them precise. You or you can go above and beyond. The, so the, comp your, the, the companies that think they're doing a, us a favor by going above and beyond, they they're, get outside seating. They're they're probably losing money. They're probably getting crushed because There's a lot of people sitting outside. Because I, there is there was there is it's not going to happen in about two weeks from now when they're freezing their balls off. Right. So I think um, I'm just I found it weird. Like like you can sit you can sit in Starbucks. Uh, there's you know, couples chairs like the uh, where we do our Ink Corner Cafe. Yep, they're open. Yep, all the door. You know, they have everything spaced out and all that good stuff. But it's just weird. Certain places are, certain places aren't. So yeah, I think it's just um, what they decide. What they want to deal with. And what, what they want to deal with exactly. So then, make, uh, then some, you need more employees. There's and, some, exactly for indoor and outdoor. Exactly. Right. So, so there could be a certain company that says, you know what, financially we're okay because eventually we can. Winter's go. coming. Yeah. Uh, the governor's gonna have to figure something out. We need to be people can't be outside. All right. So something's gonna happen. Um, so some big news crossover crossover to my real job. Ooh. <laughs> uh, Ooh. If you don't know, uh, we'll now play the you Uncle know. Variety show. Now you. <laughs> if you don't know, now you don't, know. Yeah, but you can't say the last part. Yeah. It's no. it's Biggie. We don't, I know. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Biggie. <laughs> right. Smalls. Right. right. Um. Best rapper ever. Um, huh? Best rapper ever. Notorious. Best rapper ever. B.I.G. So, uh, what I want to say is, if you don't know, not you know. know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Uncle Louie Variety Show, uh, which I am a part of, uh, we are doing a virtual, yes, Ooh. virtual show October 17th. It's going to be in a theater. Everybody around the world can watch it. Buy your tickets. $20 is the tickets. Tickets are good for 24 hours. What does that mean? We're going to start at 8 o'clock. Wow, how's that work? Yeah, we're going to start at 8 o'clock live. If you're available at 8 o'clock, you go to your device, you scream it on your so TV. So if you don't pay the $20, your device won't can't get your... Obviously, it's a ticket. It's a pay-per-view. Think of pay-per-view. 
Okay. Yeah. So if they don't pay for it, they can't get it on their phone. Absolutely. So if they have a, when you buy a ticket, you're going to get a code. Co- uh, so when you go into the, the link that we yeah. send you when you buy a thing, okay. you're going to hit the link. They're going to say, enter your code. And then, boom. How then many you, people are doing that now? Like comedians and everybody. everybody. Yeah, everybody's doing it. Well, everybody that has. Who created that app? <sighs> genius. Everybody that has well, different genius. streaming companies. Geniuses. Um, anybody that has a, a following. So you wouldn't do it if you have our following, 40 people. Right, well, so people are make, limited. I would probably make it 20 bucks out of each for yeah. the people. Oh, Only cost us a grand yeah. to put it up. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, we so, probably don't even have Yeah, we have to people. give them that. So, uh, <laughs> that's right, we have 26. So, um, so uh, uh, October 17th, worldwide uh, virtual show. It's going to be uh, on a stage, professional stage, uh, high-definition uh, cameras. We're going to be doing three, four-shot cameras. There's going to be people behind the scenes. You can talk live, and they'll be texting you. Ooh, so if you have questions. Like a, like a marathon. Exactly. Nope. Uh, marathon's running. And so they... they uh, uh, no, not the marathon. You said marathon. The, um, oh, you mean like a Jerry Lewis. Jerry Lewis marathon. Telethon. Oh, yeah, telethon. <laughs> this is called Cyberthon. Uh, Cyberthon. Cyberthon. Um, so uh, in opening the show and being throughout the show uh, is uh, Austin Georgia. Our Austin Georgia the voice. from The Voice. He'll yep. be joining us. Uh, so that's going to be happening October 17th. Virtual. Go to the Uncle Louis Variety Show. Hit the link. Buy your tickets. 24 hours. I'll tell you how it works out. So Why let's say 8 o'clock. Because you, you, you asked, oh, oh those tickets work. Yeah. 24 hours. <laughs> what does that mean? Let's say 8 o'clock, October 17th. You might have a wedding. You might have a party. You can't make it at that moment. The ticket is actually good for 24 hours. So that night when you come home or the next morning on a Sunday morning, you can watch it just like it was live. Yep, just it's like, like it was a live. DVR. Yep. Nice. So you get that for the whole 24 hours. You miss nothing. Nice. You can invite your friends. You have a big party. Come over. Uh, do an Uncle Louie Variety Show party. It's going to be great, guys. If you don't know what we are, we do uh, sitcom, sitcoms. We do sketches. We do uh, stand-up. We do music. Um, the other day we were sitting in the pool. And I put our, our, our newest song on. Classic. And the whole place was, I mean, classic, classic right? Classic. And I don't say but it because I'm biased, the, the, but I mean, it's classic because we know the original song. Yeah. There's not too many people that know, unless... Well, if you're, you're ta- our followers, followers, I mean, yeah, all of our they, people that yeah. follow us, we are an Italian-American uh, classic. So, like, uh, so I just want to throw that out there. So retail, uh, the malls don't get that same scenario. People are not going to the store just to shop. We're going no. in there. Do, you find your stuff and go. Kill time. Yeah. Yeah. Find your stuff and go. Find your stuff and Is go. that ever going to change? We don't know. I I used to love, like I said, I used to love, hey, you got an hour to kill. Uh, you go to the mall. You go to the store. You get some ideas, especially especially with Christmas coming up or the holidays. I mean, come on. That's what people do. And they used to shop. Yeah, but and money was made in restaurants. can't be in fear of being around people, no, I'm man. I'm not. I'm not. Not you. I'm right. saying they can't... They, but they can't. it's still different. Even if we all went, we're all in masks. Today I'm looking... Louie and I went to the store and we're like looking at everybody and we're all following in and out. So you and think... everybody's like... Yeah. Like, you think they're like literally changing our thought process? Like yeah, how we think? man. Not me, bitch. Man. What the... It's changed so many people already. It has. It's changed so many people it already. Has. Like, oh, don't talk to me or handshakes this. It's changed so many people already. I'm not saying it's better or worse. I'm just saying, yeah, they're changing our minds. People are... Changing every day, they're putting either fear or they're or they're changing to like screw it, I'm gonna do it. But whatever way, people are changing. They're more aggressive or less aggressive. You know, you're right. like, I'm not gonna go out. I'm not gonna go to that party. I'm not gonna go. Or they're like screw it, I'm gonna go. You know, it, there's aggressive people now that we weren't aggressive before. We just lived our life. Now we're like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it because they're telling me not to. And then you have the people that take it to the other extreme and go, I'm not going out of my house. Right. That changes the world. So, but there's not retailers, and, and, and the thing is, retailers have to worry about this because now Amazon's bigger than ever. Oh, all these they're... places, are, uh, uh, what's it called? Um, stock, out of stock, not out of stock. Um, oh, shit. The other places like Amazon where people buy stuff, or Wayfair, and yeah, all that I, stuff. I, I know and, what you're talking about. But I don't... Overstock.com, Overstock. or something yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. These places are huge now because no one's leaving, and I can get in two days, a day. So, retailers are tough, man. Now, they got to try to make it, they got, to them, it's like, well, we can't sell the social thing anymore, so let's make it, well, you know let's what, make though, it easy, I don't know. At the end of the day, if you really think about it, now the retailers are benefiting from both. 
they're benefiting from the people that do want to go out and still buy and the people that do want to just stay inside. So now they have two revenues. Yeah, but I never go. I mean, I rarely go to, and I probably should, to the, to like, just shits and giggles, Walmart.com. Never. I go to Amazon. Right. Maybe I shouldn't, but <laughs> uh, I don't go they to have, I don't go to Macy's.com. They have everything. Right. I, I don't go to Macy's.com. I'm not, I'm I go not, to I'm not Amazon. A, I'm not a big fan of Amazon. Me I'm either, but big, I, they have everything. I'm not a big fan of buying anything off the internet yeah. because I have to put my credit but card. But they made it so good. But they have they made it so fucking easy. everything. And you can just, like, a little uh, I like want a, a cable that looks like a blah, 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 and then there yeah. it is, 30,000 pictures. Oh, that's it. It's crazy. They got so, everything. Everything. Retailers have become... Uh, a different beast. I personally don't like it. I like it. I like it in the aspect that I can go in, do my shit, and get out. Get out. But unfortunately, the lines are longer than ever. Now all they uh, all, all, all these stores are making self checkout. I guess they did it in um, Wegmans. I don't know if it was North Syracuse Wegmans or Liverpool Wegmans, but they have the self checkout line. Yes, they started doing that. And uh, so they started doing that. Yes. And uh, that's gonna help because if you don't know what Wegmans is, it's one of the bigger stores up. In this area, yeah, uh, and there are always lines. There's always lines. It's always packed. It's always packed. Packed. Always packed. So um, I remember when we were younger. You want to find? It's like going to a club. All the nice, all the lovely ladies were there at Wegmans. Oh my god! All of them. It's not even fun. And for the ladies, all the nice looking guys were looking for the ladies. The so yeah, Wegmans fun. was like. Oh, it's it Friday was, it night. Was, it was got nothing like, to do. Uh, hey, let's go to Wegmans. It's like the high end state fair. <laughs> yeah, let's go to Wegmans. Let's go to Wegmans. Because you're going to run into somebody. Even if you don't know them, you just want to run into them. You're going to run into them, or like, oh, you'll see somebody from, you know, whatever, and they're they're doing the same thing, and you're like, hey, let's hang out. So we used to do that a lot. A lot. A lot. We went to the a grocery lot. store. A That's what people do when you're in small cities, <laughs> especially on a Friday. <laughs> oh, my God. Friday, right before you're going out, you got to stop at Wegmans, maybe get. You know, pack a gum or something to drink or pack something. Pack a gum at Wegmans? Well, yeah, yeah. But the excuse to go there. Oh, oh yeah. Especially you go, if you're oh, let me go. Well, I'll get married. a... Uh, oh, yeah, I'll get especially like a... Especially if you're married, yeah. Married. Especially if you're married. Why? A lot of guys go just to look at... Other oh, guys. you mean they're, just to look. Just, yeah, yeah they're, I'm going to get... I guess. A, going to get I went there for gum. I have to go to Wegmans and I get went my there for Wegmans gum. gum. I have yeah, to have yeah, my... Yeah. I gotta have... Yeah. But I'm talking about when we were single. We used to right. go there for that. Right. But yeah, now that I'm married, I go there for that <laughs> to look. No. Yeah, most of those women are still... freaking married and they're hot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Retail. Retail. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. All right, Exchange. man. Did you learn anything today? Did I learn anything? Yeah. I don't I like Christmas trees in September. No, we learned that you don't like Christmas trees. No, I learned that. that too. Oh, you know, really I didn't learned know it. I was oh, gonna... you learned it at that moment. I didn't know I was going to not so walk that, in there. So that moment, it, it came over Hit me. Like, like, I, I hate this. I hate this right now. Wow, that's a, that's a nice... And this was... That's a good, that's a good right, moment. This was literally yesterday. Just that's now. a good moment. Like when you found out like, more about yourself. I'm not walking in there. You found out more about yourself. Yeah. yeah I like that. Yeah. I, I found out... If that... they had a big Santa Claus balloon like thing, I would have burned the fucking place down. Are you um? Are I wouldn't have burned. Are you a uh, bring the uh, bring the bag from your car to the grocery store or, or spend a nickel to twenty five cents buying? No, it? no. What I'm the you? guy that has bags in the trunk and literally forgets them. At, That's what I'm at, saying. And once I walk That's in, what I'm saying. and then I buy more. That's what I'm saying. So you're that guy. I'm the guy that I already have them. They're in the trunk, oh, no, but I forgot. I, mean. I forgot. I'm the guy that has the bag, I, uh, and then you go there and go fuck. fuck. I'll buy another one. Yep. Yep. That's me. Me too. Yep. I know there's people that are like hell no. They they got their bags. They don't leave without their bags. They know where the bags are. But I'm also that guy that forgets my mask, my wallet. The, now the mask is you have to walk back. You have you to, have yeah. to yeah. walk back. Right. They should. We should make uh, invent like disposable like. Uh, Twenty five, like in the parking lot. Like oh, if you forgot, that's a good idea. like if you forgot, and like, like a dispenser. oh shit, there's a one dispenser. right there. And, a dispenser, you know. a mass dispenser. We should be rich. A dollar, boom, then you can wear it. Dollar, see right there. Yeah. Mass, that's probably the best thing you've said. Mass Most stuff, mass pretty dispenser. stupid. But the, <laughs> no, <laughs> the washing car thing. No, watch. Yeah, that's fun. Next week, someone's Just, gonna yeah. have this out. Not on our show, though. Not, 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 show. From, not from watching us. Fuck. You know, the seven people, ah, if you get it, God bless you. get you. it, I'm punching you, know, you right in the face but I with learned, your mask on. I learned that uh, <laughs> I do not like um, bagging my own groceries. I don't like that shit. I don't want it. When, I agree, though. And I didn't know. But, see, I agree. this is something that I learned recently because before COVID, 
No one asked you to bag your own shit. Never. Unless you were in a soft. That's you do that onto yourself. Never. But the thought of imagine like seven months ago, you go to the grocery store, the guy looks at you and goes, and you're like, "What are you waiting what are you for?" for? Yeah. Like, oh, I'm not gonna bag it. You'd be like, "I want to talk to your manager yeah. right now, right now," and the manager come on. What's the problem? This little prick won't bag my shit, and he'd be like, "What are you, Stephen? His name is Stephen. Stephen." Why aren't you bagging this gentleman's bags? Because he has 119 products in his cart. Right. I don't Imagine want. bagging. Because he up. might. Wait. Because huh. he might have germs on him. <laughs> and I'm going to be like, oh, I'm going to have germs on him. I'm going to have germs on you in about a minute because I'm going to slap the piss out of you. Right. Because imagine. But now, I, you know, you can't even call them. Call the man. The manager will be like, yeah, sir, what, sir what's sir. the problem? Bag, bag your, your shit. shit. Steven, you get a promotion. And we don't care if you never come back here we again. We don't care. We don't. Because we know you're coming, coming back. back. And Steven is going to get a raise. Right. For staring at you and not talking. Right. As he's, That's what as I he's watching, looking at his phone the whole right. time, the manager is yelling so, at you. But think about that. Think about that. Seven months ago, if someone said, grab your own shit and put it in the, your own bag. So you know what? Do the uh, drive up thing, right. pre order. They they have to yeah. bag it for you. Right. You just, you pay it. On the phone. But I don't know what I want until I'm there. There. I mean, I know I need milk and I need bread. And, and when it comes uh, impulse buying, grocery shopping is impulse buying. Yeah. Oh my god! Don't ever go to grocery shopping hungry. Uh. You will buy shit that you have never eaten before, but it's you're so hungry, you're like oh my god, chocolate covered. Pretzels with yogurt. Di- yes! Thank and you. you. And I never bought that before, but it, it would be in my bag. Yep. And it'll be in your fridge for the next two months because you only wanted it that day. Yeah. Like, but what you, the fuck did but I buy? But generally, this? you buy all this food. Yeah, I always yeah, say, yeah. go go to the grocery store on a full stomach, and then you will buy just exactly what you, what you need. What you need. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. So you learned. That was retail. You like that? The topic good of stuff, do good a topic, stuff, and then we can stuff. go from it. Yeah, I think we're going to keep doing that. So today was retail. Uh, if you got any, uh, I don't think anything about retail that you want to share with us, that uh, I think the next the next show we do, we're gonna recap. Uh, if people have, uh, you know, some messages, comments, or emails, comments opinions. about our topic, we're gonna start with last week's topic, and then we're gonna give you the new topic. Or experiences they've had. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll spend like five minutes if there's enough time right. to uh, review last week's topic, right. and then we'll give you the new topics. Make sure you got your mask on. All right, guys. So as we always say, I we used to say, what do you I mean? used to say before COVID. Say, as we always say, stay no, safe, stay COVID, clean. We never did this before COVID. We didn't? No. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's why we said it. I say might, it. I might have COVID. Yeah, I think you yeah. I might have COVID. Stay safe, stay clean. Wash yourself. Wash your Did ass. Did you used to say that? Never. Wash your ass. Never. No? No. I said that. No, I say that to you after we shut the camera. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, guys. As I always say, Austin, take it away. <laughs>